Hello, I've got a haul. Maybe that's controversial, I don't know. That is how you get a sleek bun. That might be me because I've got a lot. Point where I looked like six months pregnant. <laughs> Since I used this to guard my skin just like click. Flares PLT. Besties, welcome back to the weekly vlog. It's week three of January. Who's excited? I feel like 2024 just has such a nice feel to it. I don't know whether it's the fact that it's like an even number or what, but 2024 just sounds so good. I feel like good things have like already started happening, are gonna be happening, and I'm just so excited. So I'm getting ready for the day anyway. This is gonna be the outfit of the day. I'm just obsessed with this card. You know, if I could wear this card again every day for the rest of my life. I truly would so if you see me wearing it about five times this week that's why but i'll give you details in a moment i'm just spraying some perfume this is my favorite at the moment i got a few perfumes for christmas and actually this weirdly i've never like been a not like a fan because i've never had it but i've never like cared to have alien by um, mugler but this is actually so good like so much better than i anticipated I'd honestly say like i've received the most compliments i'd probably say that is like a nine out of ten it feels quite mature um, but like in a good way not like old lady -y. and then i also got carolina herrera which is more sweet and i feel like i thought i'd like this one more than alien but aliens actually weirdly stole my heart so that's a little bit of perfume recommendations but i'm just getting ready to leave so on the agenda today i ended last week's vlog because i wasn't very well over the weekend um, but I feel much better, like back. Where's my over earring? Okay, right, let's just leave that. Let's put my bracelets on. I don't know where that has gone. Anyone else just constantly losing earrings because same. So, on the agenda, left last week's vlog because I wasn't very well. So, this morning I just wrapped that up, finished editing it and everything. Um, I just had such a weird sickness bug, but luckily today, like, I feel 100% better. So, I'm going to go time sense with Mia. Something we wanted to do last week, but we just ended up not getting around to going. But if you guys are on TikTok, I'm sure you will have seen that. Home sense is truly where it's at right now. They've got such a cute, like, Galentine's, Valentine's selection in. And we saw a little bit of it in TK Maxx last week, but I feel like there's so much more to see. So we are going to go there which i'm so excited for then later we've got hot yoga finally getting back on the hot yoga grind i feel like if you've been here for a while then you'll know i used to literally be like a hot yoga every tuesday sort of girl like would never miss it, it was such a big part of my routine but i don't know we've just like fell off slowly like the whole group of us and one of us like is pregnant so she can't do it anymore and then i don't know we just haven't been the best with it but i feel like new year it's a good time to like get back on old habits if you still want to enjoy them so that is what we are going to do i'm booked in at six o'clock so i'm very excited actually to get back into it i feel like it's such a good like de-stressor such a good workout and also there's just something about yoga like it's such a like almost like a clash of physical workout and like mental workout it's just so good so looking forward to going there um and then what else have we got on the agenda for the week i haven't like sat down and planned i feel like we need to do that we need to sit down and actually plan like what we want to be doing each day this week but i know that i want to keep like a good routine with working out each month what i've done for 2024 which i kind of did last year but i didn't stick to it but i really want to make an effort to stick to it this year is giving myself like an overall monthly focus so this month it was just purely like getting into a good consistent healthy routine with eating working out like walking getting outside like just like keeping on top of all my healthy habits so i've been like quite good so far obviously go being ill last week kind of threw me off which is annoying because i feel like i was getting in such a good routine but nevertheless we're going to continue it into this week and then i feel like by february hopefully like i'll be in such a good routine that I'm almost like not having to think about it and then I can move on to like another area of my life and la that last year really helped me so I did like a finance month, I try new meals month and like I really focus on like food and nutrition and like learning about it but yeah so if you if you feel a little bit overwhelmed with the whole like January rush then maybe try that, I think I'm going to go for the Borg bags, I've got some Borg Uggs on um, or is it a bit much on top of the cardigan? I kind of like I love this bag from Primark I can't lie just empty it 
in the bag i'm just gonna put my cuticle oil because i'm gonna get in a better habit with applying that while i'm out and about some lip gloss a lip liner hair bobbles just in case because you never know when this hair is going to start annoying us and that is it so we're going to go to home sense mia's going to pick me up any moment so we're going to go on a nice little bestie trip to home sense i had a big plt parcel i feel like that's a parcel for me too off the post when it's just arriving but i got a big plt parcel yesterday I arrived so we've got to go through that and i've got to show you what i got because i've got so cute pieces so i hope you guys are just excited for another week with me we have just got another week of being our best selves and we love that so welcome back to another weekly vlog i love you guys thank you for just like sticking with me into a new year and just being excited for like what 2024 holds for me so yeah love you guys and i will see you in the car on the way to home sense oh right, quick before we go actually should i give you an otd because last week i was horrendous at doing it when i was out so we've got a plt cardigan on we've got a plt sculpt looks top on long sleeve because it's so cold today it is minus one Primark bag, Boohoo jeans, which you see more like when we're out, and then I've just got on some Boohoo Ugg dupes, which if they're in stock, I'll drop the link, but they are so cute. They're like the Ugg dupe, and um, they're the dupes of the Ugg braid, Tasman. So yeah, that's the outfit, and I will see you guys when we're out. All right, guys, we are reunited Hello, after Angels. a weekend apart. We are. And we're headed into home. It's, it's so bright, it's so cold, but it's so bright. Yeah, like it's lovely it's to have a bit of sun. Yeah, but it's just like freezing cold freezing. we're excited because we've bigged this up for a whole week we have so, so it better be better be 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 <laughs> if it doesn't we're Thank gonna you be pissed off <laughs> guys this is so far all we found <laughs> <laughs> where's the rest I don't know. yeah what do you think now <laughs> it's just Not testing perfect. sofas no i feel like the cushions bring it further along but this yeah, it's it, hard. it needs to be a bit more squidgy. Yeah, it does. Like more marshmallow vibes. Yeah, it does. Feels a little bit. It looks better than it feels. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. I like this though. The green. Mm. I like the feel of it too, do you? Mm. And you've got the, the mini I one like too. The marble. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Yeah. I bet they've got some little cute little. And that chair's bit. nice. A bit darker. They've got all little like decorations. If you were having like a little Galentine's night with your friends, you could decorate it really cute. These are cute guys. Yeah. It says, move from fear and limitations with a full heart and embrace love. It's actually all right. It smells a little, oh, it's rose quartz, pink opal and clear quartz. quartz. Oh, this is so cute. I love these. They've got all the angel numbers off. Oh, that's a really cute this one. This is sweetheart on. It's a lovely. I like that. It's supposed to be a little bit like Alien. What do you think? Yeah. That might be me because I've got Alien on. Oh. <laughs> Let me smell again. I don't know whether it's you or the candle. What do you think it smells like? Oh, I don't know. I didn't get Alien from it, but I feel like you're um, more with scents. Yeah, got more of a... Spaniel nose. <laughs> Guys, we've come up. And look at these. I've never seen this, but they look really cool. It's 5 .99. Fresh and clean citrus. Okay, nice the thing is. That's lovely. Does it smell nice? Is it by that brand we like? No. No. I've never seen it before. More like for you. Oh, I need to put my lip in it. Body. It smells like. What um, is it called? Body. Body pres prescriptions. Oh, Ooh, almond milk and honey. Oh, I love that. I love I almond milk. So nice. That is nice. I like that. Mm, almonds is really my I don't favorite know what right now. Like, I've had a body scrub, but I'm not sure what this brand is. Only $7.99 for all mm. that. Right, guys, we've retired from home since that was rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> Like we just said, we saw more in TK Maxx last week, and, and that, like, isn't, that isn't even the even, home yeah, of it. Yeah, no, no. That was just, you know, like the sister. Yeah, the little tinkles. Yeah, so there's a new home bargain, so it looks huge. It's like two shops worth, so we're going to have a little. I'm well, hoping this is going to provide some cute bits. We'd like some cute mugs yes. just for the podcast or something. Just little cute bits, like just girly bits, because Valentine's is fun, so it's all like cute girly hearts. Girly whirly bits. So we're going to have a look in home bargains anyway. Ooh. Guys, home bargains actually delivered much more. They've got these really cute mugs with hearts on. Guess what we just found guys? Brain liquor drinks. Yes, brain liquor drinks. We used to love a brain liquor when we were younger. Mom came, please mom, let's go and get a brain liquor like from the shop. I'm not obsessed with it. These ones are what everyone's saying on TikTok. I love you cherry much. It's just quite yes, a small mug small. for me as well. Like I like a big. I like to take it's like half off. a cup, isn't it? You know, I'd like more <laughs> that. Nice little vibe. Same. They've all said, what's like that one? Which one, this one? Yeah. You're a hot tea. Oh, oh you're a hot it's tea. It's got um, um, tea bags in. 
Oh. We've got these two, look. Be mine. That would be cute to do a little. And these are We're all about the activities, aren't we? The little lollies. Um, that's really about it, other than like little decoration bits I'll show you. Yeah, got some like little tea lights. Tea it lights. would have been cute if we were doing another Sisters and Soul shoot. Yeah. You know, some hard. Yeah, did the backdrop. Um, bubbles. Yes. Be cute, yeah. but. This is why I stopped going to her. What's going on with the light? <laughs> right, let's try that again. I have already reminded myself why I... Okay, this light must just be on its way out. I already have reminded myself why I stopped going to yoga on the night times because it is so... Is that flickering like... I've never seen it flick like that before in my whole 23 years here. That's never happened to me before. I feel like the light must be going. I am just getting ready to go to hot yoga and I thought that, well, unready, but ready to go to hot yoga. So I thought that I would get unready with you. I have actually been using the Kylie Skin and Makeup Melting Cleanser and it really is a melting makeup cleanser. It literally melts my makeup off of my face. I'm just taking all my jewelry because I hate it when I get like makeup residue on it. I have also been loving the Medic 8 Foaming, um, no sorry, Micellar Mousse Cleanser. But I've been using that for like my second cleanse, getting the makeup off with the Kylie Skin and then going in with the Medic 8 to actually like give my skin a like proper cleanse. Uh, and that has been working very well for me. I got it for Christmas, the Kylie Skin, and I didn't know how it would be. I love her under eye cream, but I haven't ever used anything else and I feel like it doesn't have the best reputation but from my experience I actually really like it like I'd love to try other things from them because the products that I have used I really get on with and really right so maybe that's controversial I don't know but I do feel like it gets a little bit of a bad rep especially on like TikTok with the skincare girlies but honestly speaking from experience I couldn't say anything bad about it so me and Mia obviously went to home and said it just was not it guys today. Like the shops were just really rubbish to be honest. Like Home Bargains wasn't that good. Home Sense just, I don't know, I've never honestly seen Home Sense like quite that bad. I feel like even like considering there was like an event, like you know how it's supposed to have all of this. By the way, this is sort of the consistency of it. You don't need a lot, literally just like this much. Considering like there's supposed to be all this like Valentine's Day stuff going on like, it was just really poor. So I got back and I've just had some work to do. Because obviously I've been um, ill on the weekend. I have just like got bits to catch up on. So I was just doing some emails. Just uploading my weekly vlog for you guys. Felt weird uploading on a Monday. But I just didn't want to like wait for you guys for tomorrow. So I've just gone ahead and uploaded it tonight. So yeah. That is. I'm just going to get some water in on this. See it really. I know the light's not very good. But like it really just like melt. See the um, difference? Really does melt the makeup off very well. And also, I had Biely in my eyebrows for literally two days. I felt that ill. I didn't shower, and it literally stayed. In my eyebrows stayed in place for two whole days. So yeah, I've just been catching up on some work, and now I thought, right, come on, let's not procrastinate. Let's just get ready for yoga. <laughs> it also gets mascara off. I feel like fairly well i feel like this mascara does come off quite flaky anyway so and then i'm just going to go in with the medic eight cleanser just to foam things foam things up around here i tried to sit down and make a plan for the week but to be honest i feel a little bit uninspired with what to do i want to try some new workout classes so i'm going to see if mia wants to try some with me and i don't know what but i really want to start doing pilates i wish that there was like a reformer pilates around here there's not really they're all like 25 minutes away but i really want to start doing that like i'd love to make it part of my weekly routine so i think maybe i'd like to try and book a class for that this week because it is just supposed to from what i've seen it's just supposed to tone you off in like an ungodly way like i, I want to be i want to look like that so i want to try and book that but yeah okay we are dressed i went with this blakely sports bra just because it's like white and plain and then one second let me move you down 
Then I've just thrown on my Lululemons. These are the Align ones. And honestly, I do really like them. I feel like they are quite thick to like lift weights in, but I'm going to try them at yoga. I don't know whether like they'll be more suited to more of like a slow movement, but I have only worn them once since I got them. So I want to wear them. I threw my hair up in this bun. It's probably going to come undone. I'm probably going to have to do it again. Definitely going to have to do it again. Let's do that now. How is that? This is also a mental note for myself your stuff on vintage jode it's been two weeks i just have got all the photos on my phone but actually sitting down and uploading them to vintage just seems like such a mammoth mammoth task so i need to grow up it's really not hard but i hate myself that, that's one thing i really hate about myself i can like talk the talk but sometimes walking the walk is just too far for me and i just procrastinate so much on stupid little like points that just make it hard for myself in the long run i feel better now i feel like it i personally find it really hard to motivate myself to work out in the evenings and to be honest it's because it doesn't really suit my routine so because like you know i work from home like i have a very like flexible life like i can work out at nine i could work out at like 5 a.m i could work out at two like working at seven doesn't really fit into my schedule because like i said like you know i, I can be very flexible with um this but oh my eyes sometimes get so itchy so i feel like i just sometimes struggle with like motivation to work out in the evenings to be honest that's why i find it like easier to just not go i am a little bit nervous to go in because i just haven't done this for like i think like five months and it's really hard to be honest and it's a new teacher and i don't know what her vibe will be but it can be a really hard class so i'm hoping that it will be all right i'll show you guys anything that i can i won't take the camera in because you guys would overheat in two seconds but i will take my phone and i'll try and get some little clips for you to like see but i know like i've had a few messages off a few of you girls say that you also go to this one so um i would definitely recommend you guys try it if you've got one in your area it is really good like it just like feels different to a normal workout which is really good and i feel like you sweat out a lot of toxins which i personally really like so i'm obviously going to share in everything when i get home later ollie's gonna cook dinner which is lovely for me so this is just your sign to push yourself out there sometimes and i don't really feel like going but i know once i've done it like i'll feel so much better so yes this is your sign just to just to do it like no one's gonna make you do it. you have to make make yourself do it so a bit of 2024 motivation we're getting it done this year we're not going to procrastinate we're not going to just like you know let the months go by we are actually going to do it so let's do it girl that was rough guys i i can't that was so much harder i think when you don't go for a while it really hits you i stink i'm literally wet from sweat it's 20 past not m7 it's that cold though like normally i'm gonna have to put my coat back on normally i have to drive like with the windows open but it's actually so cold that oh poor co it's gonna be covered in sweat <sighs> that was rough that was so hard i don't have words i'm gonna go home scoff my dinner shower and then i catch up with you guys hello bestie right we are at the shower feeling clean dinner was so good one thing about me is because he doesn't cook very often when he does he like goes fully all out and he absolutely slays so yoga was really good i'm really glad i went back like i said before i went i think to you guys i really want to start going again i don't know if the evening ones are like fully for me just because it just like doesn't really make sense to me and um, you know for like ollie to go home from work and then me to go i like, i don't know but i'm glad that i went but i just struggle so much to switch off like my brain is so just like busy 24 7 i really struggle to just like switch off but the yoga instructor said something very interesting she was like a busy mind is a busy body and she's like your body can't like connect to working out like if you're 
head is like going a million miles an hour. I do like really try in the like first section to really switch off, but I honestly just really struggle. Like my brain is just thinking like, what am I going to eat tomorrow? Like, what's me doing? What's Holly cooking for dinner? Like my brain just really struggles to switch off. But I was really trying to focus on that like busy, you know, a busy mind is a busy body, and I don't want my body to feel like busy all the time. So I was trying to go for more of that like. No. I was trying to really go for like that approach, but I definitely feel like good for going. So I'm glad that I went, obviously. It's just something that I need to work on, to be honest. Like I'm just always stressing about tomorrow rather than trying to focus on today. And it's something that I definitely want to work on this year. So if you guys have any tips for a busy girl, I don't know how to help myself. Like I try brain dumping, I try and deep breath but I'm still constantly like going a million miles an hour. I don't know, like maybe it's just my personality. But then like some people say, maybe it's just being a human, but then it's like some people just say they don't get that at all. So I'm like, I'm confused. I feel like my dad does very much the same as well, but he really like in his later years of life, really tried working on like mindfulness. Maybe I just need to start like doing more like meditations like on my own and just try and, even if it's just like two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, like build it up. I don't know, I wish he was here to talk to you because I feel like he like mastered it, like he got to a point where he's really good with it, but a sign or advice from up there would be very good right now. <laughs> but this is how the skin is looking. It's looking so much better. I'm gonna talk to you guys about it tomorrow because I think I know how I've like sort of fixed this mini issue that I was having. So I'm gonna get into bed, watch some TV, chill with my boyfriend, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another day. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday morning. I actually just showered, re-put some pyjamas on and I'm just about to get into my journaling game. So I thought we could do it together but I'm also going to apply the Caudalie Vi Vinaigrette. I don't know, it's the, the detox mask basically. I really like it, I've used it a couple times and it really, 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 where have I put my Lanash? It really helped like take away my pores. I've, I get a lot of pores like here and I feel like using it really helped like I guess minimize them I've also got some breakfast one of my favorites banana on toast I wanted some chia seeds but I need to get some more so one of my favorite breakfasts ever a little bit of honey would really you know okay, I'm gonna put this on while I journal so how are you guys feeling about 2024 i just feel like there's a nice i feel like i said this yesterday but i feel like there's just like a nice energy in there i feel like people like on tiktok are just not caring what other people think and just like doing stuff for them and i feel like it's such a nice like movement I feel so achy from yoga, I can't lie. I feel like the first session back is always so rough. Um, Like, I knew I would hurt this morning. I hurt when I was going to sleep last night, and I was like, Lord, help me for how bad I'm going to feel in the morning. But it's all in, you know, it means that I did a good workout. So I just tried to think of it like that. I feel like a bath would be lovely, though, Loki. Is anyone watching Love Island? Do anyone... I feel like people do really still love Love, love Island. I have been such a big fan, but the last couple of seasons just haven't appealed to me. Like, it's all so samey, samey. I feel like it's so, like, unauthentic at this point. Like, do people really go on full of no? Like, it's just purely to get followers, which I don't blame anyone for. But it's just, like, the show just is not... The show's not what it was. Like, I just love, like, season three. I don't think could ever be beaten for me with, like, Katie and Scott and Olivia and Alex and all of those this mask kind of makes you look like you've got really weird blotchy skin but i like to focus it mainly like around my nose and here like where i suffer the most for pores so journal let me write my prompts and then i'll share with you what they are we also did an episode if you want a little bit more like more of a deep dive into journaling and how to actually make it work for you and all of that then watch then go on to our sisters and souls podcast they're, they're back on youtube now we had a few weeks of no youtube because me was having problems with the uploads but we are back on youtube we're on apple podcast we're on spotify so they're like 
we go for between like half an hour and an hour every week talking about something different but this week it was all about journaling and it was how to actually make journaling like work for you like how we find like best to do it like how to tailor it to your needs to make it successful like because it is really one of those things where you really get out of it what you put in and you have to be like very it's like almost like a work in progress constantly so if you did want to know like a little bit more about journaling you feel a little bit like oh, i don't really know where to go then i'll share a little bit of what i do today but also that episode is probably a good one for you so let's get on to our journaling this morning oh also tea Okay guys, these are going to be our prompts. So we've got, I am grateful for my daily intentions and how can I take better care of myself today? <clears throat> also, a heated blanket is on. I feel like a heated blanket is almost as important as anything in life. Like it just, it honestly, if you guys don't have a heated blanket, like don't think it's silly. Like it might seem a little bit extra. And I feel like before I had one, I was like, Oh, am I really going to use it? I never have to have the heating on because I've constantly got this, like if I'm cold, I've got this on me and it keeps me warm. So honestly, I really, really would encourage you guys to all get one this year. But let me share with you my journaling thoughts. So today's the 16th of January. I feel like January, is January not just the slowest month? Like Christmas, the fact that was only three weeks ago, it feels like three months ago, New Year's Eve, a blur also had the cutest new year's eve i will i'll let's not get into it now because i feel like i could talk on and on but i had the cutest new year's eve i okay first of all i did three things that i'm grateful for this morning so firstly having a roof over my head secondly my youtube and tiktok growth and thirdly my skin clearing up i feel like especially if you don't struggle with your skin like when you suddenly do it's a little bit of like a a shock and by no means am i saying my skin was awful like so many people like so close to me have struggled so badly with their skin to so, like mine was not even comparative but like it just is a little bit of like a oh like what's going on so I'm really glad, glad that like it's going the right way not the wrong way and like it's not getting any worse it's like cleared up a lot which again need to talk to you guys about because I feel like I have understood it okay so my daily intentions I've wrote two today so to be productive with work I really want to just well I really want to do some YouTube filming today, some TikTok filming and just, you know, get on the the grind. And then secondly, my other daily intention is to limit the brain fuzz. I said a little bit about this in my, on my Instagram story last night, but like you either get it or you don't. And I went into this a little bit last night, but my brain is just constantly like buzzing around and it's like... I'm seeing my nan on Thursday, like, I wonder what time, or, you know, is my grandma okay, is Ollie all right at work, like, have I got to do this, like, pay this bill, do this, and it, I make my life seem so much more stressful than it actually is because of it, but I just, it's an issue, so I'm just going to try and limit that, and I feel like a really good way of doing that is by, like, having a little bit of quiet time and also like brain dumping me and mia are such advocates for brain dumping and whether you just get a random piece of paper and you just write down everything that is stressing you out even like you know when you just think like am i paying too much on my phone bill and it's stressing you out and you want to ring them up and you know things like that it's just like putting everything down on the paper and then ripping it up and throwing it away and you feel like you've just cleansed yourself and you see things a lot more clearly so i'm gonna try <laughs> i'm gonna try to do that <laughs> And then how can I take better care of myself today? Journaling, such a good one. It just puts me in such a good mood. Like it really raises my vibration, which is obviously key. Secondly, I'm going to try and do a little meditation. I will get it up on my phone and show you. But I, obviously, like I said, really struggle to switch off. But I really like these meditations. It's by a YouTube can channel called The Goodful. Um, they do loads of random videos I actually didn't realize how random something about porn there but we're just going to ignore that but if you go on their meditation playlist they have got I've done a few of them before but they have got these look and they're all for like they're aimed at different things and they're guided and they're really good they're like 10 15 minutes like depending on how many but there's ones for anxiety for self-love for sleep for beginners for stress one to start your day there's a walking one there's just like a daily one an anger one healing depression one for kids which is really nice and um, 
what was the other one? Oh, five minute meditation you can do anywhere. And they are just really good. Like, so I'm going to maybe just try to do the, like, the five minute one and just ease myself back into it. Because I feel like it will really just help, like, calm my, calm me down. And then thirdly, less scrolling on the phone. The doom scroll in the morning and the evening is not it. I've really limited the evening. I've been really good at about like eight, nine o'clock, putting my phone at, like down away from me, watching TV and turning the TV off and just going to sleep. So I know I'm still like, having screen time, but it's not like on my phone. And then me and Ollie just tend to like chat in the dark and then obviously go to sleep. So I feel like that's better than like turning the TV off and then picking the phone up and going on that. So yeah, I'm going to try to just less scroll today. Like if I'm going to scroll, why don't I read a book or why don't I do another session of journaling? Like just try to be a little bit more productive. Um, but then it's also hard because sometimes I have to scroll for work. Like whether it's getting inspiration, whether I'm like on Pinterest looking for like ideas or whether I'm on tick. Like, do you know what I mean? Like there's such a blurred line, which I think is why I get like a little bit like stressed about it. And then I've just finished off with some nice affirmations. So firstly, I'm worthy of my goals. I only attract positive people and things into my life and I am enough. So that is our lovely journaling session of the morning. I, re When I was editing last week's vlog back, I was really glad that I like vlogged a lot of my journaling times. And like sometimes I was talking through it, sometimes I was just doing it. But I personally just like the like positivity from it. So... I hope that you guys like it and let me know if you want more or you know anything like that if you have any questions but definitely go and watch the sisters and souls and this is the mask it's pretty much dry but i'm gonna leave it on for another like five minutes i also try to put as much like around my nostrils does anyone just get like a lot of pores and like stuff around their nostrils so i've tried to put as much but can you see like it just dries all your spots and you can see it now because the smooth's not on quick <laughs> I don't know how you get the smooth on and off. I feel like you have to go... There you go. See how it's like bringing all the impurities out? It's kind of gross, but... I'm going to wash it off. Then I'm going to get myself ready for the day. And then, like I said, I'm going to fill the hall for YouTube. I'm going to do a few little TikTok bits while my room's like semi-clean. I am going to do a run to the charity shop. That's it on the agenda today. My grandma's going to make me and my mum lunch, which is going to be nice. She said that she'd make us lunch today. So we're going to go to my grandma's for lunch. Probably go there about 12. It's only, we've got a few hours yet before that. So I've got plenty of time to do everything. And then, yeah, spend time with my grandma, take Sash for a walk. And that's probably about it. And then like I'll cook dinner with you guys. But I'm just having like a little bit more of like a chilled, like homey day today. I feel like last week I was very much like out every day, like go, go, go and like I didn't spend much time at home just like doing the little things so I need to get more onto that today so that's what we're going to do so I'll pick you guys up in a little bit but I'm just going to finish my um breakfast finish my cup of tea get myself ready wash this off and then we will continue with the day hello guys sorry I'm just going to pop you there I I'm having one of those days where I just keep knocking everything over so bear with but I wanted to do something with my hair I didn't know what to do so I've just grabbed the Mark Hill medium curling wand and i'm literally curling like huge portions of my hair i'm just gonna see how it goes like i thought just like a messy like you know like not like a blow dry but just like a bouncy like loose wave is gonna look better than it just being like down and boring so i've put it in like a messy like almost like side part um so all my, like my short pieces are on one side so i thought i might be able to get like a nice like see i've just done this side like really loose like really like just like loose waves i thought it might just add a little bit of something to the hair though so i'm just almost done so i thought i'd just show you literally so messy like no um, method no like real holding or anything all i did was put a little bit of the li living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo it's really good i got it in that space in kpr and i always wanted to try it so when it come i was like oh okay slay like can't wait to try and you know what it's actually really good and like, i can really tell a difference like compared to like don't get me wrong a cheaper one still makes your hair like less greasy but this just doesn't make it look like it's got dry shampoo and it makes it look like it's almost like fresh it's really weird and it doesn't like have um, a white cast and i feel like my hair's so dark that like it would white cast on me like that's why i always struggle i always have to try and get the batiste brunette range but with the living proof one i'm fine with just like the ordinary literally just 
I don't know, just like, it's good. I would say it's approved by me. I feel like the TikTok girls, like it's hard to tell on TikTok as well, like whether products are just hyped, but it is actually really good. Sadly, I hate to recommend an expensive product, but it is really good. <laughs> how it looks I actually really like it it literally took me 10 minutes I mean how long it'll stay I don't know but I feel like as long as the front bits look curled it doesn't really matter what a hack I feel like I'm going to do this a bit more especially on like old hair I feel like it will hold a bit more because this is like day 5 hair it's not like super fresh putting a bit of hairspray through and this is how we're looking I'm actually really happy. I feel like it's so hard. I feel like, especially like if you don't, I feel like you're either like a makeup girl or a hair girl. I always just like do my makeup and just like leave my hair a lot of the time. But I feel like whenever I make an effort with my hair, I'm like, yes, I'm like, I feel good. I feel confident. It's nice to make just like the most of it while it's been down. Like I could have so easily just like sleeked it up today, but I was like, no, come on, like, let's make a bit of effort. So yeah, this is how we're looking. I'm going to get on with filming and then we will be back shortly. Okay, bestie, let me just give you a little OOTD before we leave. I love this outfit. It looks... Oh, I can't get you guys on a straight tripod at the moment. Let me just pop you there. Okay, this is what we're going for. I thought it was giving, like, it's almost spring. It's not really, but we're just going to pretend it is. So, of course, I'm wearing the cardigan again. Honestly, if you see me wearing this every day this week, just mind your own business. It's just... It goes with everything. And I feel like it's just like the perfect everyday cardigan. So this, it's obviously from PLT. Then I've got this um, Primark bodysuit on. I haven't got any jewellery on yet, actually. I just realised. Boohoo trousers. Miss Pat bag. PLT sunnies. And my Ugg braid dupes from Boohoo. I think that I left my Gucci ones in um, Mia's bag. Because she tried them on on Friday. So I've just got on these PLT ones, which... Are so good if you're looking for like a um affordable pair of like cool sunnies honestly these are so cool if they're in stock i'll drop them below drop the link it's like i think they're only like nine pound or something but they're really cute um yeah okay anyway this is the look i just need to add jewelry and stuff and then we'll be out of here Good morning guys it is wednesday i feel like such a crusty musty mess so let's do the skincare i've just jumped out the shower i've got on a really cute set from plt let me show you i was gonna give you guys like a plt haul in this vlog but i ended up just filming it for like a dedicated haul i got the flares that have literally been going viral on tiktok but i got the matching little like top it's an unreal quality like if you were around last year when i was obsessed with the long sleeved cream one this is like even better like it really does give like i don't know like thick sculpting skims we know the vibes but they're little flares and i got the matching set i feel so put together i feel like they well they do do the zip ups the long sleeve zip ups like they're giving like bbl lululemon jacket vibes so i feel like i'm gonna have to purchase one of those but it was a really good haul so apologies that you're not gonna get it in the um vlog so i don't want to repeat it for the girlies who watch the haul so go and watch it it's a very good haul i just got like a lot of everyday basics i mean i'm sure you guys will see a lot of it in the vlog because i'm going to be wearing it but you know and um, right first step let's put some lip oil on because lord knows my lips are so dry This is so good. It's the Clinique. I didn't think I would love this so much. The only, like, my criticism would be it's very good, but you don't get a lot of product. I don't know. It's a lovely product. Like, I probably would rebuy, but it's not like it hasn't got the most product. I feel like they... It's quite deceiving. I feel like normally, like, a lip oil or something lasts you quite a while. Also, if the braves look sore, they are. I was. I just wanted to, like, quickly shapen them up. So instead of getting the tweezers, I thought I'll just grab the Dermaplan eraser. I've essentially hacked up my face like it was all bleeding so I really don't know what to do I wanted to put makeup on but I feel like it's a bit 
silly. I don't like know what to put on. I don't have any like vast. I've got a bit of leader. Maybe just like I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Maybe just a little bit. I need like a you know like a barrier balm. But you know like when you're shaving your legs and you cut yourself, the blood doesn't appear for like 10 seconds. It was the same on the face. So I didn't really know what was going on until I was like, oh my gosh, I'm literally bleeding all the way down my face. Okay, hopefully that helps. Well, Lida does really do something to the skin. You shine like never before. But yeah, let's do a little bit of skincare this morning. I'm so hungry. Anyone else just getting those, like, I don't know what it is. I guess it's just hormonal, but I wake up every so often i get this like i don't know just i wake up and i'm absolutely starving like as i open my eyes i'm like food i'm hungry like it's so weird how you go through those phases but i'm just not really a breakfast person in general so when i'm hungry in the mornings i'm like what is going on so this morning what have we done let's catch you guys up yesterday i didn't really speak to you guys yesterday and honestly it's because nothing was really going on like i went to my grandma's for lunch i was filming in the morning and then by the time me and my mum got home i was just doing some editing and then honestly it was like dinner time we cleaned the house up because ollie's mom got back off holiday this morning so we just like cleaned the house off so i think i'm gonna sleek my hair back I mean, this is the thing with curling. Like, it looked so cute yesterday, but now it's literally just, like, a bird's nest. So, I think I'm going to do my classic, like, clean girl bun. Um, and I did see, like... I'm going to try the trick. You know where you keep the front pieces forward and then, like, slick them back afterwards? I'm going to try that because I've never done that before. And I watched a girl do it, and I can't think who it was. And I was like, oh, that actually makes sense. Like, you get much a better, like, sleeker back. Well, it looked like it. So I'm going to try that. So let me just get everything, and then I'll show you guys. Okay, right, let's do a sleek back bun. I'm going to try some different products just because I can't find, you know, that little Wella pot that I usually use. I don't know where it is. So we're just going to... Um, do it without and try something else so i think the girlies do it like this take the little short pieces down okay right i've got some water and a spray bottle because i want to sneak it with a hair mask ideally so i'm just gonna like dampen it so that the hair mask has something to cling to and i kind of like it when this buns have that like almost like wet look to them i think that looks quite cool i'm not going to take a lot literally just oh my god the puppy's back crazy girl and then i'm just going to start like brushing it back like this oh this is going to be an issue i need to book in my hair appointments i need to get on top of all my like australia bookings up the only thing i've got booked in is my um nails <laughs> just because like i always book them in advance i need to like sit and think what do i need for australia and start booking them in okay now i'm going to take this brush which is just one that i got from Superdrug, and we're just going to like start brushing it all back like so and then we're just going to put this into a ponytail also that hair mask is so good because it just dries down like translucent you can't tell some masks are a little bit more um like white they leave like little white marks or stuff but that garnier one really doesn't and then with the ponytail i'm gonna take this did someone just phone me that was a mistake i'm gonna just take the lotion spray by wella and just spray through And really, to get, like, I find, to get a really neat bun, you want your hair to be, like, wet. Like, as, like, if it's, like, really, like, bird's nesty, frizzy, um, I feel like it's hard to get, like, a neat, like, ballerina-type bun. But obviously, when it's wet, it's just easier to, I don't know, just, oh, shit. One sec, guys. I've just knocked that out. <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, right. Now we're secure like that. Okay, that's annoying. So I just went to Screwfix and brought this light and all it needed was new bulbs. Oh, okay, right, whatever. Okay, right, and then 
you like brush this back and brush this back see and then you get like a little middle part although I don't think like it's going to be better to do it like that and almost like brush it in like with the rest of your hair but you do get, oh to be fair slay you do get a really neat like i said i've never done it like this before so i didn't really know because sometimes i like lose the part in a bit um do i like it more though or do i just do it straight back so we like the part because you know sometimes when you're doing it like you're trying to get it so sleek you like lose that bit of parting I'm just gonna use that same bottle I'm just gonna try and hold it okay so then we're gonna start twisting the pony twist it around as I'm twisting it just to keep it tight sorry you just died but this is how we're looking I've literally just done it with one but I feel like like I said the sleeker you can get the pony the easier it's going to hold and then I'm just going to take a little brow like hair thing what does it even called? like a fly away or like a brow control works and then I just like neaten up the baby hair sleek like these bits back the horns and honestly, that is how you get a sleek bun. And that was really easy. I do like that trick, actually. I feel like I might use it in future because, like I said, I get a little bit messy with it sometimes. I'm just going to take a little bit of the mask and just, like, go over it. And also, this is a very good way to give your hair that, like, extra bit of condition if it needs it. I've also got a um, Look Fantastic order coming later, so I will... Pardon me. I will run through that with you guys, which will be fun. Um, I got some really cute things and I got, which I was so happy about, I saw that Laura Mercier did like al an almond um, like shower bath body care range and I was like, oh my god, it's like, so I'm obsessed with almond like scents. So I got the exfoliating scrub and if it smells nice then I'm going to hope, well I don't know where they sell Laura Mercier stuff like that but maybe in like Selfridges. Um, I'd like to go and smell the like body butter and the shower gel, they only had the... They only had like the body serum in like a pack of two, it's like hundred pounds. So I was like, okay, we don't want to spend all that on that. So let's just do a few little finishing touches to the look. I don't know if to do this long one or my short Stradivarius coat, but I'm gonna spray good girl on. Um, put some hoops in, throw some shoes on and a coat, and then I'll see you guys in the car. We'll go for a little shopping day. How's that sound? <laughs> Please get um, an iced matcha. Can I get it with some vanilla? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, I just wanted to go. I thought like I'm on a little solo coffee date. Um, I got an iced matcha. I've had one really unreal matcha from here. I've had one like awful one from here. So I'm hoping this in the middle. It doesn't look quite big, so we're gonna take that side. It's always such a lovely colour. I asked for it with vanilla, so. Oh yeah. It's so good. Because it's like the best matcha I've ever had from here, other than Joe and the Juice. Guys, he's waiting for me to get out. <laughs> Why? Why would you not just squeeze in? <sighs> oh God. No problem. I was like, after you said, he was like, no, no. He's like, you'll be quick. I was like, I don't. Oh shit. I was like, I don't think I will be. <laughs> um, right. Match is secured. I've just got a little fit, you know, OATD. The sun is truly sunny, like I can't get anywhere to talk to you guys. I, I don't know if you guys have got one of these near you, but we've got this store called J... Oh, who thought, who would have thought that? J-Y-S-K, it's like JISK, I don't know how to pronounce it. 
but it's really good furniture it's very like ikea it was it it was opened a few years ago and i feel like it was never that good but me did i go with me i think i went in on my own then maybe me and me went in and they have a lot more stuff in there now so i'm gonna go for a little mooch see if anything inspires me in there it's like really there's really cool things in there when i went in last time sorry about this like guys last time i went in there was cool things so um, fingers crossed but i'll see you guys in there when we're at this weird sun <laughs> These are cool chairs, guys. Oh, I like those. They're like a cool like, rattan. Oh, that X display. I wonder. If, I mean, they don't look too bad. They're not bad for M um, sixty-five pound. I wish there was four. <laughs> Three is kind of an issue though. I also love this. That's a nice side table as well. It's very cute. One hundred and fifty pence. It's really not badly priced, but it's very like IKEA. -ry. Like got a lot of different vibes going on in here but i love that side table ollie's mom just got this one and it's really nice it actually like once it's in the living room it looks amazing um but i really like this one with like the what do you call this like the herringbone i really like it and i think for 350 it's really not bad i really like this for the bathroom or like on a back oh, it's so heavy one sec guys i can't do it with one hand how nice to like put your jewelry on where you can have like a really cute display of like your bath products 12 pound 50 that is so good i really like it. it's like a beige like gray marble that's so good for the price it feels so heavy it feels like actual <laughs> gosh i love these plates oh i think i prefer i think these are my favorite plates i've ever seen I really like this one cutlery M um, cutlery set in Primark, but I really like those. Like the scalloped edge, they, it's given like under the sea. Really cute, and they've got matching bowls. Also love those mugs and these plates. To be fair, also love those knives and forks. I love a gold knife and fork. Oh, I like that side table. That's cool. I also like. I love the cube marble, but I like don't like the black. I think it looks quite cheap, but. This is the fit guys. I found a lovely mirror for you guys to show. This is Stradivarius. It is sold out though, I hate to say. <laughs> and this bag is like a Prada dupe from Ego. Flares PRT, top PRT, look how nice. You can see them properly now. And then shoes are boohoo. And I also love this, but I feel like it's quite expensive, like 400 pounds for that. Um, I feel like it's quite small. I mean, I guess it's because of like the right on design, but I feel like it's just quite a lot for that much. I don't know. Just in home bargains, guys. And I've seen this candle. It smells really nice. It says it was wild honey. It smells incredible. It's this nature's wick. It smells like, you know, the Laura Mercier honey um, bath, but bubble bath, like that. The only thing I've picked up so far is some hair rollers because I need to. I've only got two and I lose them all the time, so I've got a pack of four. But this is like the same stuff we saw the other day, really. There's not that much new. I, I didn't see the love bug. It's cute, but like, like me and Mia said on Monday, like, I feel like they're just so small. It's like half a cup, but really cute for Valentine's Day. Hello, I've got a haul. Big haul for you guys. Right, let me get myself situated. Oh, the heating's on, I can feel it. We love that. Okay. Also, when I went to Home Bargains on Monday with Mia, oh my god, I'm so pale. I need to tan. Okay, pale my faces. I don't know who I think I am going out without like tanning drops or anything on. Whew. Oh my god, it's really cold. First thing, wait, let me put the heat blanket on. It's so cold at the minute. It's literally like the temperature has just snowballed. Literally. Okay, right. The haul of everything that... Yeah, sorry. So when I went to Home Bargains on Monday, I did get some little boring stuff for my car, but I must have left it in Mia's car because I don't have it. I got, like, de-icer and, like, a scraper of a glove, but anyways, if you guys care. But I got this four-pack of Velcro rollers. I've only got those two, and I just lose them all the time. So I thought if I've got four, they're only 99p, I thought, like, surely I won't lose them. Because I, like, put them in and then go out. I, like, take them out, throw them in my bag, and I just always lose them. Then I grabbed a pack of Haribo Super Mix. 
I love these. I don't like the white ones, but I love the little men. And I don't know, nice to sometimes have, you know, a little treat. So that's lovely. And then this is PR from Dermalogica, which is fun. So, um, that was so <laughs> anticlimactic. Wait, let's do that again. Oh, yeah. So let's see what they send. I can't believe I'm on their PR list. That is so crazy. Oh, this looks fun. Look. How do we do it? We love a fun packaging. Oh, it's a new serum. It is pr the Pro Collagen Banking Serum and it says bank on healthy aging. Must be their new product. It's a pumping and preserving serum. It says apply two to three pumps to clean dry skin, use once or twice daily followed by moisturizer. That's a very exciting product. I will put it in here to use and I'll give you guys a review as and when I try it. And then this is actually a look fantastic haul and I'm not working with them on YouTube. I have in the past, but I'm working with them on TikTok this week, which is exciting. I really love working with look fantastic. I feel like they just have like everything, like whether it's hair care, makeup, perfume, beauty, like so much stuff. So I love look fantastic, but I thought I'd give you guys the haul of what I picked up because I got a lot of like new products to try. So, first thing is what I was telling you guys about earlier. It's the Laura Mercer Almond Coconut Exfoliating Body Wash. And I feel like Laura Mercer has a very good reputation for all of their products. So, smell it. I hope it smells as good as I thought it would. Heavens above. That smells incredible. That is insane. And I love the packaging, it's so like simple but gorgeous. We love that. So that's nice, little exfoliator. So we've got that. Then I got the Laneige Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Serum because I really love the Laneige Waterbank Moisturiser, which is this. I've been using it every night and I really like it. So I thought I'd get the serum to go with it because I think that. I really got on with the Laneige products, so I thought I'd try it anyway. Oh, that's interesting. It says, once the hole on the back turns red, get ready for a new bottle of serum. So yeah, that's a hyaluronic serum, which I thought would be good to use. So I will start using that and let you guys know. I mean, I'll let you guys know with all of it, but um, I feel like Laneige is a very lot hyped about brand these days. So then I got... Um, a new It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream because I really love this. It's like one of my go-to foundations and it's got SPF 50 in. But it's a, essentially like a foundation. I don't really know why it's like called a CC cream. I don't know. It's got colour correcting, full coverage cream and a hydrating and anti-aging concealer in as one. But I just personally use it as like a full base. But it's really good and I get it in shade medium. But I really like, I've got through like a bottle and that's my second one. So, and then I actually got a beauty blender and a proper beauty blender because the one I use at the minute is Rank. It's a made by Mitchell and I've had it for like 12 months. The top has so much makeup in it, it won't even get wet anymore. But I've never, well, I don't think I've ever had an actual beauty blender one. I've only ever had like the dupes. So like a Primark one, a Real Techniques one, the made by Mitchell one. So I was intrigued to see whether a beauty blender, like the proper one is actually worth it because they're a little bit more expensive. This was, I think like 15 pound, but I will let you guys know what my thoughts are. But I do like a, a sponge occasionally. I feel like it's nice to have like a mix sometimes going with the brush and then just like dab the um, beauty blender and stuff. So yeah, I got that. Then I got a new Maybelline 4 in 1 Glow Perfector. This is that instant anti-age range. And I get this in 1.5 light medium. Well, I think I used to have this and I really liked it. It's like this and you can use it for primer, concealer, highlighter or a BB cream. I personally was using it as a BB cream in this shade. Just like a really light layer of makeup. Almost it was giving like a nice like sheen. Like not as glowy as like flawless filter but if you added like a glowy primer i would be intrigued actually to mix this in with it this is the giorgio armani luminous silk primer and that's got a real glow i feel like these two together might actually be really nice but yeah i really liked this and again i ran out of it so i thought i would pick up another one then i got the morphe jumbo continuous prep and set mist plus i needed a new setting spray and i also do like a 
like prep one and i liked that this was a continuous mist i thought it was very cool so it's this let's give it a oh that feels so nice that feels really nice oh yeah oh and it's like dried down really nice okay it doesn't have an overwhelming scent it feels quite lightweight so i will use that i was using the l what is it called the elf style night microfying but it's literally like got nothing in um so i needed a new one anyway and i thought that that one looked a good one to try so i got that then i got a new coco and eve sunny honey Bally bronzing foam if you go back on my channel like i mean not to encourage you guys because i feel like you will cringe but go back back on my channel like three two and a half years ago I started using this tan I did a review I worked with them on it and it was incredible well I don't know if I worked with them on it but I definitely got sent it in PR and I remember doing a testing video of that tan um and I really liked it and I kept buying it and buying it and then I don't know I've just sort of forgotten about it over the years and gone back to like filter and St Moritz and stuff but it's a very good good tan i remember when i first used it and i was like never using one again another one again like this is it like this is my favorite so i got it in dark i didn't remember what i used to use whether it was medium or dark but i just went dark because it's either medium dark or ultra dark so i feel like that's like middle of the road i feel like when a tan doesn't do light i normally go for dark like the second one whereas if they did light medium dark ultra like i'll go for medium but yeah I didn't want it to be too pale because so I feel like the last few weeks my tan has just been getting like really pale it's not really been getting that much of a colour payoff so yeah I got that and then I also got the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum and me and Mia saw this in Selfridges last week and we were like what is that like I was really taken aback by it so I thought I would try it when I saw it and it looked fantastic but I feel like this could be so good um let's just put a little bit on the hand it literally just says on it hydrating and long lasting makeup wear just feels like a nice like doesn't have a scent which is nice oh like just uh i feel like you guys won't really be able to tell but next time i do my makeup i'll try and test all these for you that's literally all it says it just says apply two to three drop drops onto face and pat until fully absorbed so <laughs> I will I haven't seen anyone talk about it but I just saw it in Selfridges and I was like mm, kind of intrigued by that especially because I look sorry guys just started yeah so I'll give you a review of all of that but thank you so much look fantastic and Dermalogica that is unreal I'm so excited to try everything I just love new products like and just seeing um like whether the hype debate so I feel like TikTok like you see a lot of hype debate products so it's nice to actually test them these are my favourites these little men so plan of action for the rest of the day i am going to go and walk the dog because it's quite a nice day i'm just gonna put a coat on it it's a bit cold but it's like sunny so i'm gonna take the dog for a little walk then i'm gonna come home cook dinner i'm gonna do a lasagna i haven't done one for a minute and ollie's got quite a big day at work today so i was like okay i'll make you a good dinner to come home to so i thought i'll put on my like housewife hat and i will make us a nice lasagna and i also got some like tomato -y, tear and share type bread at Sainsbury's it looked quite quite nice it was like tomato and mozzarella so we've got that for dinner so I'll cook that if you guys show you I haven't made a lasagna for honestly like a, a couple months to be honest I only made one at the start of vlogmas if you remember and it was so good it really quite knocked my confidence because I thought he's never made one in his life it gives it like a half assed try and it was unreal like it was better than mine so I feel like I need to beat him hello guys time to cook our first like proper no we have cooked together it's Wednesday I won't run away we have cooked together already today I've got my retainer in because I haven't worn it for a couple nights and I thought this is okay I don't know why this is um I thought I'll just put it in now for a couple hours because it's gonna hurt else so everything we're gonna need for a lasagna um just got some plain flour and some butter for the white sauce and then you just add nutmeg to that but i just got a new block of butter then we've got some grated cheese some lasagna sheets i'm not sure if i had any left beef mints pepper 
cover. But then I'll just add like onions and garlic, which I've already got. I've already got chopped tomatoes. And then this is the flatbread that I got, which I thought would be nice with some salad. I did this I think it might be like the three bubbles or something I've had the worst headache all afternoon one probably not from drinking enough water so I've just texted all because he's coming home from the gym in a minute I was like would you please help a girl out and stop off and get some water for me I was like because I've got the worst headache <sighs> that feels better already to be fair I was gonna do my tan but I've got to film an ad for look fantastic and it's just so dark in my bathroom if i could do it in here like if i had space it'd be fine because this light is quite bright but the bathroom light is just like quite dull and i feel like it's not it's not giving so i'm going to try and order one of those um you know like the little clip on phone lights i feel like i could do with it even just like vlogging and stuff so i don't i think i'm just going to do my tan tomorrow so we're going to have to be a pay less girl for one more day. But that's all right because I haven't really got any like major plans tomorrow. I think I might pop out in the morning and do some filming. And then the afternoon I'm literally just going to be seeing my nan. Um, And I want to work out tomorrow. I want to have like quite a productive like get everything on my to-do list done. Um, I just did some journaling. I'm going to go and wash my face. And I thought we could have a little skincare chat because I have been obviously trying some new products. So... I've been keeping my skincare up here. I've been trying to be a bit more organised with all my stuff. Um, and my skincare has been going up here, so. I'll see you guys in the bathroom. See how dark it is in here? It's just not it. Like, how much better would it be with a... With, like, a big light on the face? I think I'm just going to wash my face and then we'll go back in my room. Because it's just bright and you guys can actually see the products and everything. I've been using this to cleanse my face. It's the Medic 8 Micellar Mousse Purifying and Nourishing Rinse Off Cleanser. And it's a foaming cleanser. Just put it on with a bit of water. I personally really like it. It is slightly scented, but my brother got recommended it by... See, if the lighting was like that all the time, it wouldn't be bad. My brother got recommended it by a dermatologist because he suffered from acne and then he went on um, Roaccutane and it did clear it up, but he still like visits um a dermatologist i guess and she recommended this to him along with the clinic care it's just here so i'm just seeing it um and you know what it it really has helped me as well because oh my god my, i forgot i forgot that i cut my brows ow i forgot i cut my brows and i've just really rubbed them ow okay right let's wash this off okay let's have a little skincare chat um slash skin update so if you followed me for a while, you all know, and I feel like I've gone into it a few times, my skin has always been so unproblematic. And like I've also mentioned, like my brother really struggled as a teenager. I personally just really like missed that um, like stage. Like my skin's just always stayed relatively clear. I mean, there's been like times maybe where I was a little bit younger. I remember when I first started seeing Ollie, like I'd have quite bad breakouts, but not bad, but like there was definitely it definitely wasn't clear but i also used to not always eat the cleanest like i could you know stop eating so much chocolate and i'd feel the benefits from it on my skin so after i come back of holiday in august my skin just started like clogging up i don't know what it but well i thought oh it must be from like an overuse of sun cream and you know on holiday you're putting a lot of products on your face like all day and all the chlorine so i sort of thought it to that and i was like oh it'll write itself over the next few weeks that was in august so that's august september october november december january that's like six months and it really like it's not bad also like i just want to also preface this chat with that like this isn't bad at all but you know when you know your own skin and you like know something's up and it's really weird because i haven't changed anything it's not as if i have 
like come off the pill or any of that I have literally not changed anything up whether it's like I don't know just like a change in hormones like as I'm getting a little bit older I don't know but I personally anyway my whole point of this story is I started using the Paula's Choice exfoliate so this is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and it's got salicylic acid in and it claims to unclog and shrink enlarge, um, enlarge pores smooths an even skin tone since I used this I swear to god my skin just like cleared I mean I know I've got this like little bit of like breakout here but like compared to what it was like I had a lot like up my cheeks and literally since using this consistently every, not every night but like every um most nights since oh, shit. I feel like since making this part of my routine my skin has just like look well it's never felt better like in those six months so I can only really put it down to this because it's when I started using this I'd already sort of I'd already sort of switched up a few of my products like I was using the glycolic acid toner by the inky list that was helping with my pores but I feel like since I've added this to my routine and rotation my skin has really cleared up and like it's looking really good so don't know if that will help any girls out I mean of course do you research and I'm honestly not like a skincare and um, like I'm not that knowledgeable like I get majority of my knowledge either off TikTok or off Mia who obviously has had her struggle so she's sorry you just run out of storage so what my routine has been at the moment and I also have always been more of a less is more kind of girl but since I've been like struggling and having more like active breakouts I feel like I've had to switch something up because it just like wasn't right in itself I cut out a few products that I thought weren't very good for me like the Garnier and um, vitamin C SPF that was like seemed to be breaking me out a little bit stopped using the purple cleanser what's it called it was my go-to clinic type that off bomb balm i stopped using that i felt like it was like leaving my skin feeling a little bit oily whereas the medicate one really like foams everything off um so yeah my routine has been the cleanser then using the bioma balancing face mist this is just good for like re replenishing your skin barrier so i've been using that and i actually look that's that's quite affordable it's like 10 pound and it's such a big bottle so i definitely recommend that then i've been using the paula's choice and um, you can put this on a cotton pad or you can put a little bit in your hands i just do like whatever depending on where i am so you just rub it in your hands and then press it in I don't know I just feel like since using this like something has switched in my skin like it's definitely still like uh, not 100% right or back to normal but like something has changed since using it in a positive way so then I'm going to go in with the hyaluronic acid serum by the inky list I will try the dermalogical one and um, one of the nights but I do have a bit of a rotation of products that I do like to like go between and I also have a retinol, which I did start using. It was the Drunk Elephant one. It is this one. Um, it's literally that. It's in French, I think it is. So I'm not going to try and pronounce that. But it's that. But obviously you can't use that every night or not like to start with anyway. So I've been using that probably like twice a week. The same with the glycolic acid toner. I've been using that maybe like twice a week on rotation with a few of the others. Um, but I will add this serum to... The rotation and see how i get on with it anyway oh this was the product i don't know why it's in my skincare bag i feel like this needs to go in the bin i don't know what's still in there i'm literally gonna put it there and put it in the bin tomorrow that broke me out so bad i started by i brought it and i started using it and literally within days i was like no this has to go um for under eye cream do i think an under eye cream is like a necessity part of skincare no and i remember watching skin by Hi um hiram who's a very like a big skincare guru if you watch him on youtube he'll like review a lot of different brands and like tell you whether they're acne safe or like safe products to use and stuff he is very good and i remember him saying like they a lot of them like a lot of um moisturizers and eye creams they're practically the same ingredients they're just obviously not marketed as as an eye cream um but saying that that can't be the same for every brand but i know he was like sort of took that as a blanket statement and it's always stuck with me but i just got this at the airport and i really like it to be honest it really like hydrates and brightens my under eyes so you know <laughs> slay we love it and then of course i'm gonna go in with the uk lash serum on the lashes i actually got my grandma this for christmas because as she's like got older her lashes 
are really short and like they don't seem to be growing so I got it for Christmas she's only been putting it on obviously since so like three weeks so I will let you guys know how she finds it because I've definitely seen an improvement um but I'll be interested to see whether she does so that's that and then finally we're gonna go in with the Laneige water bank blue hyaluronic gel moisturizer and I really want to use the serum but I've already skipped I've already put a serum on so we will try out the Laneige serum with it one of the nights and see which one we prefer but I really like this moisturizer it's really just like water based really hydrating and I actually just um this is what I mean like I'm really not into skincare um but I was just watching McKenna's vlog and she had gone to um someone for a facial and she was like oh, I feel like my pores are really big at the moment and she said that that can be from dehydration and I find sometimes my pores can be so big here and I thought oh maybe I should like pay attention to that a little bit more and see whether they are actually bigger like if I'm dehydrated like I know for a fact today i have not drank enough water so i wonder if like on a day where i am hydrated my pores would be like smaller i don't know but i thought mm, interesting i mean it makes sense i'm just putting some cuticle oil on my nails so i think i said this in last week's vlog when i was shutting it off but my nail tech just launched her own cuticle oil brand it's called juicy calls and so good i got the spiced apple and i got the pen so i feel like it's just more convenient to do it like this like i do have this from amazon this like big fat one and it's fine and um, but i feel like the pens are just really convenient to like chuck in your bag and stuff but yeah spice apple it's so so bloody good so that is the skincare that is what personally i've been using and my skin's definitely got better it's obviously not 100 percent there but i'm also hoping that australia will really help me like just getting out in the sun a little bit more and living like a little bit more outdoors and things hopefully i feel like we're there for so like such a big amount of time that hopefully my skin gets a chance to really like detox in the sunshine and the light and everything so fingers crossed to that but let me know if you've tried anything if you've got any skincare products that you feel like i would enjoy or should try or if something like you really want to try it but you don't want to spend the money let me know and i will guinea pig it but this is how we are looking see i do have this like red bit here which is weird that come up maybe like two years ago um but as you can see like there's definitely still like little but you know what's really weird about my spots they're very rarely poppable they're all really dry like other than like this one but i have to remember as well i did the detox mask so i feel like i do purge a little bit after that but i feel like they're never poppable like they're never like big like white juicy spots they're always just like red and dry so i really don't know i have googled it but i can never find an answer but this is like the worst part they started on my chin and then they've like gone down onto the jaw but yeah i don't know what this red bit is about maybe i could do something to reduce the redness a little bit more but it's a journey anyway you know we're learning so yes i'm going to close the vlog off here tonight i've journaled we've showered today we've just done our full skincare we've cooked a healthy meal i'm honestly gonna get into bed Ollie will be back soon so he's gonna eat his dinner and then we'll probably just watch piled up but we haven't stayed here for a while we've been staying at um his mom's house so back in the comfort of my own ho home oh, i just remember i left rabbit <laughs> girls with childhood teddies will get it oh well i get him tomorrow but yeah i will see you guys tomorrow i don't really know exactly what the plan's gonna be tomorrow i want to try and get up like earlier than i have been I, i'm still trying not to put too much pressure on the early mornings like the half fives the half sixes because realistically like it's not a necessity for me but i do feel good for getting up early and working out so i'm gonna get up in the morning work out i want to walk the dog um i but the thing is as well sasha's getting so cold in the cold but whatever and um, then i think we're gonna get home get ourselves ready pop out do a little bit of filming go for lunch coffee whatever at my nan's and then we'll just be coming home the usual nighttime routine so yeah love you guys sweet dreams one sec getting a phone call so love you good night good morning guys sorry for the noise i don't know how to use it um i feel like that that's right oh wait the radio's on 
happy Thursday. Right, we've had a little bit of a faffy start to the morning just because of like faffing with the cars, but we've just de-iced the car. Oh no, I left the door open. And I'm in it. We are gonna drive to Birmingham this morning. I wanna go and film like a little cool shop for you guys. So I'm just gonna plug in my camera charger because my camera batteries aren't charged all the way. So it's only half nine, so we've got plenty of time today, but I wanna head over to Birmingham. I wanna film a little cum shop with you guys. So that'll probably already be on the channel when you are seeing this. But I thought I've got the morning, like let's do something fun. The shops were quite good when I went with Mia last week. So I thought, let's go, let's see if there's any new things in. Um, I really wanna have a look in H&M because I saw Phoebe's fashion, if you guys follow her, she just seems to find like, the best stuff from all the shops like she just must be like a chronic online shopper like she just always has the best stuff and i saw that she had this gray jumper on what i haven't even opened that door is that the back door one sec guys i don't understand this car did i open that door um i saw that she had this really cute gray jumper on and i'd like to see if h&m have got that um look in zara see whether the sale's still on i don't know if it will but i don't know how long it lasts but it is currently minus three degrees or 0.5 it's so cold ollie can't even work today because it was minus six and boring but the plaster apparently doesn't like stick properly so or something i don't know He's, i asked him about it but to be honest it went one in one ear and out the other i don't really understand so ollie has got my car We've dropped his van in at the garage and we're gonna drive to Birmingham. Oh wait. <laughs> this is my favourite song right now. I thought that I was dreaming when you said you love me. The start of nothing I had back then. You know what? When you have a manual car, there is nothing more like sexy than an automatic car. But then I imagine when you've got an automatic car, it's like you don't even realise. But honestly, because my car is manual, whenever I get to drive this car, I'm like, yeah, don't mind me, Lewis Hamilton, no guess. <laughs> like you just feel so free. Like your left foot chilling, your left hands chilling. My like my only real necessity for well, no, I've got two necessities for my next car, which. I don't really know how I feel about getting a new car to be honest guys like I definitely need one and I've had my car for seven years this year I think I got it literally when I was like learning to drive so I'm going to be 24 so yeah six or seven years and it's like it's just not really like it's a f the thing is with cars like, I'm just not really like a car like I don't really care for them like I can appreciate a nice car for someone but I'm not like and I'd love a nice car, but it also is just something that you just get into drive. Like it doesn't really bother me. And I think they're such a huge expense and it's not even just like the car, it's the better the car, the more insurance and often like more tax and like everything, just like the price of everything is crazy. So, I mean, we probably will get a new car this year. Like I definitely just need something bigger, but what I get, like I, I really don't know. Like I find, I see a car that I like and then I look how much it is and I'm like, that much would be spent on a car like it just really i don't know but i would love an um, automatic and i'd love one to have heated seats because it's just a luxury like being here and like getting all warm <sighs> it's like it's sexy so yeah for now i'll just borrow my brother's when i need to um <laughs> but let's drive to birmingham obviously i'll be kind of vlogging for the other video but i'll catch up with you guys i think i might get maybe like a joe and the juice because I do really like it at the moment, so I think I might get that. Hey girl, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. We, I don't know how to lock this car, you know, and you're just like, S oh here, there we go. Okay, heated seat is on. I need a wee, but I'm in the all-in-one, and I thought I can't be doing that in, in you know, in Selfridges, like getting the whole body out, so... <laughs> I've just, I'm just gonna have to hold it, but I grabbed myself a boost, but now I kind of don't want to drink it because I need a wee, but so good. I always get the banana buzz and it's like banana, vanilla, um, honey. It's really nice. If you like just like a standard banana milkshake, essentially it's nice, but it's so good. I was hungry, but it's like 20 past 12. I'm gonna go to my nan, she's gonna make me lunch. So I was like, I don't really want to eat, but then I was like, I feel like a drink isn't gonna like do it. So I thought, right, 
we'll get to, where have i put the bloody oh i'm such a mess oh it's here i'm such a mess um so yeah but this cost me six pound when did they up their prices i don't know but fucking hell that is expensive oh wait let me connect my phone what should we listen to on the way back i wish i could drive with you guys but i don't have anything to hold you in here hello guys it's thursday night i have just finished editing i've got the heated blanket on i went to see my nan and granddad and had lunch i got back here about who's that oh hello what a treat to have what a treat to have you up here what a treat ah stop with a biting stop with a biting you think she's big guys <laughs> And that is on having a puppy. I went to my nan's. Yeah, sorry. I got back here about half four. I've just sat and edited. It is half five. My video is just processing onto YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed it if you watched it. But um, we're going to cook dinner. Honestly, not much going on here today to really vlog. But I'm just having like a chilled evening. I'm going to cook dinner. I'm about to take my makeup off. Put my pyjamas on. And I think we're going to have lamb chops. Frank, come here. Who's the baby? You had your dinner? She's so cute. Why do you guys look so startled? We just took the makeup off. We're about to cook dinner, but I got a um, parcel earlier. I don't know who it's from, so I thought that we could open it together. See who it is off. Hero. I really love these spot patches. This literally could not have come at a better time. Oh, they're so good. I personally really like, is it these ones, the invisible ones? The invisible ones, because you can just put them on your spots and go out, like no one can see them. They're really good. They've also got duo ones. They've got the original ones, surface ones, which are more like plasters, which I imagine if you've got like quite like severe breakouts would be helpful. But I really get on with the invisible ones. Thank you so much, Hero. Honestly, they're such a good brand. I really, really, really like them. <laughs> We used to have each other's playlists No, no we used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mine Yeah Good morning guys, happy Friday Feel so good this morning I felt a little bit like in a slump last night but I feel really good. I feel like it's because I woke up and there was the most gorgeous sunrise. It's mostly gone now, but it was just like orange. It looked so cute. So this morning, which I think my little loser here, we're going to go to the gym. It is so cold outside. It's like minus two degrees. It's honestly like freezing, but we're just going to get it done. So OOTD It's going to be... These fresh Lululemon leggings. These are in the colour. I don't know. Because they've got like colour codes. But it's like a teal. But these are the Wonder Train ones. And then I'm going to wear it with the matching jacket. Which is the. Like the classic BBL. Whatever it's called. Defined jacket. I get all my Lululemon stuff in a size 4. Which is a UK size 8. So it's quite true to size. So I'm going to wear a flat jacket and then I just need to pick out a sports bra. I might actually put on this long sleeved grey top just because it's so cold outside. Um, I might wear that. So hopefully I'll be a little bit warmer and then I'll just throw socks on. So let me get ready for the gym and then we'll go and train together. I've got a horrible cut on my hand so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to. It doesn't look like much but it's really sore. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to like... Um, 
lifts. I might do lower body. I don't know. I'm going to see how busy the, the gym is and assess it when I'm there. Because there's nothing worse than being like, I am going to do legs and then getting there and the leg equipment's so busy and you feel very thrown off. So I'm just going to play it by ear. Um, but this is the Amazon pyjamas, actually. They're just by, like, Amazon. Literally, if you go on Amazon and type in, like, button um down pajama set you'll find them but Mia got me these for Christmas and they're so soft they do so many colours I want more but yeah let's throw this on and then we will be ready to go <laughs> Guys, look how cold it is. That was gonna be frozen. Oh, you know what's annoying? I brought all like scrapers and de-ice when I was out with Mia on Monday. Left it in her car. <sighs> Thank the world for having heated windows. Oh, it's so cold, it's so cold, it's minus three. <laughs> I can't. I feel like having an igloo look. That is thick. Oh, I haven't even got my card in here anymore. Yes, sir, I got only to scrape it with a credit card, but it's not even in here now. I am just leaving the pumpkin patch. I just met Mays and we had a little bit of a catch up slash like working day, which was nice because I had she had quite a lot of work to do and I had bits of like editing to do. Editing <laughs> so hard because I feel like we've overworked. Like if it was like writing emails, you can chat, but with editing, like you have to listen, obviously, to know what you're editing out and stuff. And like I chat so much rubbish on these vlogs, so it's always a little bit hard to do, like um editing when you're with someone but i got a bit done like especially like the non-talking clips and stuff so i'm a little bit ahead of myself which is nice i feel like it gets to saturday night and i'm like i've got so much um editing to do for the next day so it's nice to be ahead but it's three o'clock i'm gonna go home since the gym i haven't been home so well i ran into my laptop that's all so we've recorded the podcast hello right i'm home now I am actually going to have a little bit of like a early wind down. So I've got some content. I've got an ad to film for Look Fantastic for TikTok. So while I've got the light on my side, I thought it'd be perfect to have like an early like self care, bit of a a bit of a Jody night and start to the weekend. I feel like it's so nice to go into the weekend just feeling fresh. So I'm actually going to jump in the shower and then I'm going to do my tan. I thought that we could have a little bit of a girly chat. I'm going to use the Coco and Eve tan. So. Let me just jump in the shower, I'll come back to you guys once I'm out and then we can have a little bit of a self care slash glow up slash girly tour. I just used the Laneige Waterbank Hyaluronic Serum. How glowy does my skin look? Oh my god, I think I found my new favourite serum. That is incredible. Oh my god, look at the glow. Like instantly had glow. I'm just going to follow it with the moisturiser. Okay, I just made my first ever collagen drink. I don't know how well I mixed it, if you can tell by the top. But I've got it in my sister's and soul's cup. I thought I'd try it. It's the Hunter and Gar, the one that I got sent a couple of weeks ago. And I haven't tried it yet. So I just mixed it with some water. I put two servings in because I thought this is quite a big bottle. So... Okay. I feel like with some sparkling water, that would be so nice. I feel like... It's a little bit, not protein shaky, but like it's got a bit of that like um, shake taste. But it's this, if you guys haven't seen. It's the Daily Beauty Tonic Rise and Glow Collagen Mixed Berry. 
it to this. I mean, I don't mind it. I probably with some ice. Well, I don't have any ice. In winter, I feel like I haven't frozen any ice cubes in so long. Mm. I don't hate it. I feel like with some sparkling water, it'd be nicer. But I mean, the benefits of this are meant to be incredible. So, cheers. Okay, guys. Right, we're gonna have. Okay, Bestie, we're going to have a little bit of a fake tan slash glow up slash Bestie chat. Asked for you guys to send me some questions on Instagram. Some, like, girl talk questions. I thought it would be nice to have little, like, now and again, just little, like, catch up slash, like, girl advice chats. I feel like these, I really like listening to these, so I asked for some questions. So let me just get those up. But we're going to tan, and I haven't tanned all week, so I feel like this is so needed i'm gonna feel so good for it there's just nothing better sometimes than just being like freshly tanned it just gives you like a different level of confidence and i'm so excited to use this tan because i haven't used it for so long i'm getting like real nostalgic vibes from it um okay right let's just get a few questions up to get me started Okay, first question. It's not really girl talk, so I'll just answer it quickly. When are you going to Australia? In about three, four weeks. Like, I think it's like four weeks literally tomorrow, which is so exciting. So I feel like before I go, I need to obviously have like a big sit down chat with you guys, run you through everything that we're going to be doing over there. But I am so excited i feel like one it's going to be the trip of a lifetime two me and ollie have never been on a holiday like that like i've never gone long haul i've only ever done like europe i think like the furthest i've ever been on holiday is like egypt but i've never gone like anywhere like australia and i've never gone for such like a significant amount of time so i am just so excited like i just feel like it's going to be one of those holidays that we always go back to like talking about and i feel like it's just going to be like the best time ever so i'm so excited let me just grab my fake tan mitt okay one thing about coco and eve is it's going to give you a good color like it is honestly an insane color um right let me get the other questions up okay someone said are you still using the menstrual cup and if so how are you finding it yes yeah, so i used it for i didn't use it on my latest period purely just because i didn't really think about it i come on like in the night um like late at night and i just like threw like a pad on but i do really like it and i think i definitely will like keep going back to it. i wouldn't say that like I had a bad experience or anything like I've got nothing negative to say about it it's just you have to if you like understand anything about it, then you have to like um like sterilize them it's like almost like what you would do for a baby um so it's just like staying obviously on top of doing that and like making sure you're being safe with them but honestly we'll definitely go back to it I got the organic one organic cup and I found it really comfortable like less mess like just like more honestly like if you're trying to live almost like, like soft girl like just like i almost didn't even realize that i was on my period like it all felt very like taken care of like very neat clean like i really enjoyed it i felt like i didn't have to worry about like getting like um you know like a pad line and i went off tampons like i really didn't like the like thought of it anymore so yeah really liked it um so when i said tips slash steps for a glow up i would honestly like i always say <laughs> One of my favourite things is to have like a big fat like week of appointments, whether it's a pedicure, whether it's manicure, like getting a spray tan. I feel like and also like don't forget that a glow up doesn't just have to be like physical appearance. I feel like it it pushes you along and it like gives you that like confidence and that feeling and it's really good to have that. But also like glow up like mentally and spiritually. So journal, watch your favourite films, like get out in nature. Like I feel like it's not just about like how we look, it's also like really important to feel good and for me that is journaling taking sash for a walk getting outside in nature like spending time with my boyfriend with my friends like going on a coffee day trying new food like anything that's going to give you like an energy boost like singing my favorite songs in the car but if you're looking for that like physical like glow up i would say start with booking some appointments get on pinterest find yourself some cute nail designs and maybe like a new um pedicure color that you've never had before that is just going to make you like excited to get it done and someone else says question to yourself or followers please do any of your girls have experience of depot and i don't know whether i'm like really on like 
I think I might have heard of this on TikTok, but I have got no experience with this. So I would never want to use my platform to talk about something that I have got like no prior knowledge to. If you guys have got any like idea with Depo, then comment below and you guys can have a little chat about it and like amongst yourselves if you've got any experience or advice for anyone. But then someone said, when would you like children? I feel like this, got, this gets brought up so much. I just feel like no real pressure. Like when it happens, it's going to happen. Like I don't have any pressure. Like I, when I was younger, I used to put like ages on it and I'd be like, when I'm 25, like I just, I no pressure. Like I wouldn't say that it's anything that I'm like actively seeking in my life right now, but it's also like something that doesn't not interest me like I can't wait to have that period of our lives and be at that stage but I also like I'm in no rush to get there so honestly like when would I like them whenever they're meant to come like there's really no no pressure like I don't know I feel like not that we'll ever feel ready but I feel like maybe we'll just like start to feel different and obviously right now would not be a good time for us with everything that's going on like right now but you know maybe even in like six months like who knows a year two years like I really don't know but um it's definitely something that we want like we're really excited for but yeah there's really no pressure someone else says <laughs> these are all sort of on the background on the back of it so a lot of questions about like contraception my experience with on the bone on the pill what do i use to track my period want to come off the pill to balance my hormones i would say so my experience is i was told to go on the pill while i was recommended to go on the pill when i was about 15 which i feel like he's so young looking back but obviously i just had a boyfriend the doctor just obviously that's like the first thing that I feel like they tell young girls just go on the pill like and then that's it really they don't really tell you much about it you're not really encouraged to learn about it or at least I wasn't in my experience like sort of just followed what my mum did um I was on it for about four years really had no problems like the first one that I ever went on worked for me like I got on with it and never had any bad side effects and then I just started to probably in like the last like 18 to 12 months of me being on it had really really bad like mood swings and it made me literally feel like I was a different person um quite dark thoughts nothing else was really going on to trigger them it was just as if like my body was just like almost like started to reject it so I made a decision to come off of it um, and just sort of like balance my hormones and felt so different in myself like almost automatically I felt so different in myself like better positive like felt like I loved my life more found more light in life um but then I started getting really bad like physical side effects of coming off it and I was really confused like my belly would literally blow up to the point where I looked like six months pregnant I remember at six when I used to wear these like shift dresses and I literally had like a bum like as if I was hiding the fact I was like seven months pregnant it was the craziest thing and sort of on the back of that I started going to doctors and um saw like a gynecologist and all of that and basically got told that I've probably got suspected endometriosis which at that point in my life was really quite severe like it really impacted me so I was on the list for surgery and I've gone into it a lot before but I feel like over the last 12 months I've really tried to like well, I really, from that point, from like being like nine, 18, 19, 20, really started to try and balance my hormones. So now like six years on, I've kind of got on top of it. And I feel like whether this changes, I don't know. But right now, like I'm, I don't really get any bad side effects from it. Like I get quite bad period pains now and again, but like day to day life, touch wood, I feel like I've come, come out of the other side, which is good. So that's really my kind of like experience with it. That was probably when I was like 19. I get a little bit confused with dates because it all feels like, I still feel like I'm 19. So I'm like, how can that have been that many years ago? But I think I was about 19 when I, I was maybe 18. I don't know, I was in sixth form. So I started tracking my periods using Flow. And honestly, my intention, I didn't really know what I wanted. I was going to have obviously the endometriosis surgery. And within that, they were going to fit me an IUD. Um, which I was happy with because it was like non-hormonal but I've just used flow for about four years um yeah so I must have been about 18 19 so I've been using flow for about that long um and honestly like it's very accurate for me like obviously after all these years um I'd always encourage you guys to be safe and I wouldn't encourage you to do like anything in particular I feel like 
as women we're just not really encouraged to like understand our bodies and their needs i'm just buffing in my tan using this isle of paradise brush but i feel like we're just not really encouraged in society to learn about our bodies and what they actually like mean and what going on contraception can do to us so i wouldn't encourage you to go on contraception to not go on contraception i would just encourage you to learn about it and learn about what it means and learn about you know side effects and consequences and like I feel like when I went on the pill no one ever told me about like the consequences of what I was doing to my body or if I stayed on it for a long time what would like what could happen to my body like I feel like we're just not encouraged to sort of know those things so yeah that's honestly all I would encourage you to do. like just read do your own research and I personally like the responsibility well I'm okay with having the responsibility of being you know respond that's my phone <laughs> of being responsible for my own contraception and you know but also just do what works for you like i'm in a you know a long-term relationship where we like deal with things together and like i feel that that's fine for our relationship but maybe that isn't your lifestyle and you know you don't want to have that responsibility so maybe a contraception is a option for you that you want to consider and yeah I would just say like think about your own life your own relationship your own needs like what you actually want but um yeah I use flow to track my periods and also another one which doesn't necessarily like track your periods but it helps you understand your cycle is an app called 28 and it's a little bit more like female like feminine energy soft girl focus it's really quite nice it tells you all about your different phases of your cycle and what you can do to like help yourself in that cycle and all of that this is how the hands look i love this tan and one thing it smells so good so i hope that made sense um i haven't had a huge like experience with contraception other than being on the pill deciding to come off it feeling better for coming off it so yeah um and then someone said hope you're doing good my love i hope you're doing so well too i'm sending you guys all so much love especially if you get this far in the videos because i know there's a lot of chatting rubbish in these videos but i hope you guys like it and like it doesn't get repetitive or any of that like i hope that you guys do really enjoy these videos um what's the question have you been watching love island all stars if so who's your five boy girl in that oh i sorry i haven't been watching love island all stars i feel like it's probably gonna be good though because it's got all that like x like drama in so if you are watching it let me know and whether i should catch up i don't know but no i've not really i think i said this earlier on in the blog i haven't really been into love island for a couple years now i just found it getting quite repetitive and quite I don't know like I feel like when it first came out obviously the intentions were never to get famous to get a PLT deal like it was actually to go on there to find like a partner and I really enjoyed watching people like go through that but yeah it's just not really the same now and that's fine like and to have a series that stays like elite for all those years is really hard so I don't I think it's just one of those things it's like x factor like who cares about x factor these days but yeah those are all the questions that I'm going to answer. I feel like that's nice. Maybe we should do this like every couple of weeks. Or maybe we could have like a different focus. Which could be fun. Maybe like we could do like a finance Q&A. Or a health Q&A. Or maybe like property Q&A. And we could maybe just like do them like a different topic every so many weeks so let me know if you guys would like that and what topics you'd want to do and i can just like pop them on my story pop it on my story or on the community tab if you don't have instagram and then you guys could send me questions and we could run through them in the week and that could be quite fun a nice little 2024 you know tradition little segment of the vlogs so let me know if you want that this brush is really good it's nice because it's got a little like uh, molding for your hand to go in okay guys right this is how the tan looks i told you this is just like the best tan and this is only one layer i feel like if you do two of this honestly you're such like a good like going out party sort of color um but i feel like one layer is fine for me this is how we look just trying to get the best light honestly the light's not good hands i haven't put any on my face i've done my skincare so i'm not gonna bother i might just put some tanning drops on maybe in the morning so plans for the evening i feel like i'm ready to go to bed and it's half past five if your friday nights don't look like this i don't think we can be friends no i'm joking but for me personally Oh yeah, this is about what well, this is about as far as we're gonna go on a Friday. So I'm just gonna literally chill. I think me and Ol are probably just gonna grab some quick food, watch some pole dark. I'm gonna edit my vlog and just have a really chilled, cozy kind of evening. So if anything happens, I'll pick you up. But if not, 
I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. It's Saturday, it's the weekend. Here's to a positive, peaceful, happy weekend. Love you guys. And I will speak to you probably tomorrow. Good night. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. It is half 11 and I have just pulled up to the gym. I just dropped all off. We have both like mutually, like I said, like, are you going to the gym today? And he was like, yeah, are you? And I was like, yeah, but I don't think we should get together. And he's like, me, I feel like we need to build this independence back on, up on our own. I feel like we've become so, after like Christmas, so dependent on each other for motivation to go. But, and, and it's all fine because like over Christmas we're on the same routine even on the weekend but Monday to Friday we're just not on the same routine or schedule so it just like really puts a block on us when we're dependent on each other all training together so I thought I'd just show you my tan anyway so really it's got a really nice color um one layer the hands are nice obviously didn't put any on my face but I did I think probably get a bit on my face from my sleep but such a nice color i've doubled up on coats because it's so cold but well it's actually four degrees so it's warmer than it has been but we're gonna go and do a glute session i'm hoping that the gym's not busy but i thought that we could train together i'll show you the workout and yeah i've only got like two percent in my headphones so i hope they won't die self-care and I washed my hair and I just put a roller in it's been in for like three hours so I don't know how it's gonna look but I mean I can't sleep in it but hopefully it'll just give it a little bit of bounce um, but this is how the hair turned out super cute I just used the Mark Hill to do the bangs and sort of like flick the ends a little bit so hopefully it like lasts well for the rest of the week but I just want to say thank you especially if you did make it to the end of this video love you guys so much can't wait to chat with you next week so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe if you don't already but it's so late on saturday night and i want to get this up for you guys in the morning so you have the best week ahead of you remember you are strong you are enough be confident in yourself you are capable of everything love you guys and i'll see you next time.